my posse. Hello all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for coming into my living room today. Uh, today um, we're going to talk about makeup. Well, we're going to do a get ready with me. You know, I hate those get ready with me. I should probably do this. Instead of going into the segue all made up, how I'm going to show you how I got this look, I should just come on with no makeup on. Then it's not such a shock. <laughs> But anyway, I'm glad you're here today, and I'm so glad to all my new subscribers who have s just been so amazing. Some of you have been recommended through, you know, the YouTube link. I'm so grateful that you click me on and that you've given me such wonderful comments and that you're so happy to be with my posse on my channel. For some of you who are just maybe clicking on from a recommendation, um, I am in the matured community. I am. I am 77. I am. And uh, I'm a very positive person. I am. Uh, well, I try to be. Even in today's times, really. Um, I'm still happy. Uh, life is good. And uh, I hope that I can inspire you to be positive and find the good things in life and find the good things about yourself and deep go deep inside and bring out your beauty because we all have it. It's inside. We just sometimes just need to express it outside. But if you have it inside, it just kind of comes natural without all the, the uh, makeup on the outside, which is just kind of a cover up for how you are inside. So kind of like, I guess um, if my subscribers had to describe me, I don't know, how would you describe me, my subscribers? <laughs> I guess I'm just a really positive person, and I am 77, and I do really take care of my skin, and, um, I just, uh, I'm diligent about my skin, always have been, uh, for a lot of years, and, you know, my, my posse knows that, but for those of you who are just clicking on, welcome. I hope you like my channel. I hope you hit the subscribe button, and you continue to watch me. It's fun. It's just, we have a lot of fun here. And I, you know, the whole month of April, you know, I was missing because we were getting over the COVID virus. Um, and I don't even want to talk about that today because there's other videos about that, but we're doing really well. And so, but today is a get ready with me. And I'm going to talk about a drugstore makeup and how I got this look. And, um, I mean, it's new to me. It's not new to you. You probably, you've probably seen a hundred uh, or more uh, creators doing it. You know, we all come on here and show you some beauty tricks and we all have different skin types. We all have different skin tones. Kind of a combination oily and dry. I think since I got older, um, I've got a little bit more dry uh, than I was. When I was, when I was young, I was so oily. I mean, you could slide off my face. I mean, it was it city for me. I was just, and I used to like cry, like, why can't I used to, I used to wash my face with, uh, lava, was it? Wasn't it lava? Wasn't it lava soap? Come on, you girl. See, oh, you know, you remember back then? But anyway, I used to just try to dry up my skin. But you know, today I, I'm a little, um, more combination-y, I think. I'm still oily in spots, but, uh, you know, I, I just keep my skin really uh, hydrated, really um, moisturized, and I drink an awful lot of water, and I do stay out of the sun, so that's why, you know, what you see is no sun damage. I don't have any age spots yet. I thought I saw one coming up when I was sick, but, oh yeah, no, that's not an age spot. <laughs> anyway, so today, anyway, I'm going to show you how I got this uh, this look and actually it's probably one that you've seen and I'll put it all on for you in the next segment but it's new to me it's Melania from the drugstore actually Walmart I got it from Walmart so I've got the whole the whole thing here all the way down to the lipstick and um, I'm gonna you know right after the shower I'm going to uh, come out clean face um, and I'm probably gonna do you know I gotta tell you when I was sick for two and a half weeks, is all I did was lay in bed and go uh, uh, like this, and I really got these number 11s. I mean, they really, I mean, thank God I had bang talks, but they really kind of like, I was like, whoa, and I think it was just from like 
uh, just laying there so nauseous and uh, with this frown on my face. I don't know, because it was like two and a half weeks of being in bed and look. I don't know. do anything to my face. For all you new subscribers, I haven't had a facelift. I, I mean, I haven't had laser. I haven't had anything done to my face. I mean, I do enough massaging. I don't think I need it. But um, I think uh, I'm not against the, you know, having these number 11s fixed. And I'm not so sure that that falls under the category of, oh, well, she's had her face done. Because I hear people on here going, well, I haven't had Botox and I haven't had this. I haven't had that. And that's great. I think that's great. If you don't care, you don't care. But I think these up here, they give you like this. And I mentioned this before. They give you like this crabby look. And I'm not crabby. And, you know, but I, I see myself sometimes in the mirror, especially since I've been sick, that I look like I'm frowning and I don't frown. I don't frown. So I'm not opposed if this, you know, gets any worse of, you know, being hit with the Botox. Well, I, I don't know. But because I do, I do love my bangs and, you know, bangs are bang talks. It's a cheap way to go. So, but anyway, without further ado. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, today's uh, wig is Kate. Holly Young's Kate. You can see it. I've got it in an updo. And uh, I love Kate. This one here is in Pecan Delight. And um, I love her. And this is the headband that I showed you the, on the last video. One of the ones that I bought. And I love it. So without further ado, let's go and do a get ready with me. Let's go. Sorry, scared me. I, I didn't know who that was, but it's it's me. <laughs> yeah, you know I love these get ready with me. So um, anyway, I'm here all clean faced and uh, ready to show you my interpretation of Milani makeup. So I already showered and I exfoliate oh I exfoliated the whole body this morning after the shower and you know you girls if you follow me you know I love my St. Ives apricot scrub I have been using this I don't know I want to say since high school well shortly after so this is my go-to and I do it once a week all over and I do my face lightly I mean lightly you don't want to do it so you get abrasions but you know, common sense, and this is great. So I've already done that. My face is clean. I'm massaging my number 11. I put on my my Alafrida vitamin C, my hyaluronic acid, and my favorite in all the world, um, the Firming and Neck by Alafrida. Now, it's not really good skin because I work it every day. Um, I know some people have said, well, when you massage your face, it'll break down your muscles. Nah, if you do it consistently, it's not gonna break down your muscles. I'm a prime example of that. Um, I mean, it's just like a bodybuilder. If, you know, a bodybuilder stops after a while, you know, they're going to turn to a flab. So it's just something that it's consistent and that, that I do. And if, you know, my new subscribers, if you haven't seen some of those videos on how I massage my face, uh, go over to my playlist and watch them because, yeah, I'm diligent and consistent. So that said, I got all my, my face done. Sometimes I use primer. Sometimes I don't use primer. I forget it. It's not part of my routine under my foundation, but, um, but this one here I got from Natalie, the beauty diva, and I took her video into Alta's one day with me because she, she um, reviewed this and some of the girls was like, oh, who's that girl? And I'd, I said, oh, that's Lady Gaga. And they went, oh, she does, she does beauty videos? <laughs> I said, no, because Natalie looks just like Lady Gaga to me. I love Natalie. She looks just like her. So I call her my Lady Beauty Gaga. So anyway, I did put this on already. This is Urban Decay's uh, eye primer. So I do have that on my lids. So let's get ready to do uh, the makeup. Now, as I said, the makeup isn't um, new to you. It's new to me. Uh, I'm sure you have seen other um, 
creators do this um, makeup before. I have never tried it. I was anxious to try it, but I'm a good candidate because I matured and I have matured skin and um, I'm working on these number 11s. And um, so I thought I would be a good candidate to show. I did try it last week first before I reviewed it to make sure I didn't itch, didn't break out because I'm very, very sensitive. You know that to makeups. So we're gonna start today. Mine is the, um, it's called Milani. I always wanna say Melania. I might have said it at the beginning. I don't know. I, I just somehow say Melania. But it's Melania and it's Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. And mine is 08. It's light tan. And I thought it was a little uh, yellow for me. But um, after I got it on and it blended in, it's not bad. And I always use my hands. I wasn't going to today because, um, just for the mess. But I, oh, but I do have my wipes here. So now I don't. I don't really have a lot of um, discolorations in my face. I have, you know, where I need um, a lot of coverage, but I do like full coverage better than medium uh, coverage for some reason. I like the way it feels on my face, but this feels really good. So let me start, trusty little mirror over here, and we'll see. It's very lightweight, and if you're, I am, combination oily and dry skin at this 77 years of age that I write so when I'm usually moist or put the foundation on I always take my hand and run it down my neck if you blend this here you don't want to just stop here and get this line here where you can see the difference I take my makeup and I blend it down because it gives a beautiful um, glow to your neck and also it'll cover any kind of helps a little bit with the wrinkles and any imperfections that you have in your neck. So I always I always bring it down. So you can see the coverage is not is not too bad. I mean I'm I'm pretty happy with it. It's a little wet on um, to me, but I noticed before it does dry in a little bit. It doesn't stay you know, tacky like that. So, coverage is pretty decent, I think. What do you think? Not too, not too shabby for mature skin, or any skin really. We're just talking maturity today. So that's that's it. Um, and I did, I do like it. The color, like I say, to me when I first put it on, I thought, oh gosh, it's a little. I'm real funny with yellows. You know, everybody wants to give me a makeup that is. Um, that matches my skin tone, which I'm very olive, and it does pick up yellow, and I go, I want pink. I don't want olive. I don't want yellow makeup on my face. And I thought when I put this on, mm, it was gonna be that way, but it really isn't. It's pretty It's pretty good. And, and then I bought their concealer. You know, if you've listened to me, I'm a concealer nut. I have, you know, being Italian too, I have circles, and since I've been sick, uh, they're a lot better now. I I had such terrible dark circles under my eyes and uh, and bags, uh, but uh, I, so I go through concealers. I like the rewind, and also I was um, I tried this. Uh, it's the Maybelline Superstay uh, concealer. That's pretty good. I was really impressed with the Milani uh, Conceal Perfect. It's long wear concealer. It does stay on all day, so I was pretty pretty impressed by this and I'm not you know I'm hit and miss with concealers so I do let's see find my little beauty blender it's pretty bad when I can't even find it with glasses oh lord and we're gonna try it under the eye now I for some reason I like my I like my concealer light I mean people want to put concealer on me that blends into my natural skin tone. Why? Why bother using it then? But I happen to like it lighter. I mean, obviously not like this, but I like lighter concealer. Maybe I'm part raccoon. I don't know, but I do like it. So we'll just blend it here. And obviously it'll look light for a bit and I will continue uh, to blend that, but I'm gonna let it set. And I always come down here a little bit 
and in here a little bit. So we'll put this one on. I really like, I love the consistency of this. I mean, it's really um, a creamy consistency and yet I'm looking at the camera like I can see. Uh, uh, so I really, really uh, like it and I do love my beauty blender. I just ordered a whole bunch of, of these in a case uh, with all different sizes in, so I'm pretty excited to get those. Because they have some for eyeshadow, and I never thought about using a beauty blender for eyeshadows instead of the brush, so I'm anxious to try that. So as you see, it is really going in really nicely. Put some down here. So I am, and I will blend that a little bit, you know, as we go. I put some up under by my eyebrows. And my eyebrows, I do um, nothing to. You won't see anything with my eyebrow. I mean, I, I shaved my eyebrows off probably sometime after high school. I had a unibrow going, and I just shaved the whole thing off. And then me and my girlfriend, we were just painting them on with those Maybelline little red pencils that we used to get. And uh, then they started to grow back, and they never did grow back. So I don't know what happened. So every once in a while, I just, you know, take my handy dandy little razor like this, which is perfect, and I take a little bit off here, a little bit off here, and then, and then some in my nose, because this is so great for nose hairs. You don't want to go to the dentist. Well, you can't go now, but you don't want to go to the dentist and put your head back and then go, oh my God, I forgot to take my nose hairs out, because he's looking right up. <laughs> Keep one in your purse because I've done that. Anyway, so that's all I do to my eyebrows. I do not, I don't put any color on my eyebrows. And I do ha wear bangs. And I think when your eyebrows are dark and then your bangs are done, it's a really, really hard look. So I, yeah, I don't do anything to my eyebrows. So, <laughs> hold on while I clean my glasses. Okay, I had to clean my glasses a little bit. So, and this is my Kate, I just, that I had on at the beginning and at the end, but I just stuck her up with my bow for this. Uh, so, cause I'm going out and I didn't want to change my hair. So then I went and I got the Milani. And then it was kind of hard picking, at least for, uh, this is drugstore makeup and it was extremely cheap, but I got mine at Walmart. Uh, I want to say that this Milani, Milani, see I did it again. Milani makeup. I want to say it was like $8.99 at, uh, and I think at CVS it was $12.99. That's a big difference, even with my coupon. So I got to really watch that because Walmart prices is pretty cheap, I think. And I believe the mascara, I mean the mascara, I believe the um, eyeshadow was also eight, it was like some crazy thing, like $8.96 or something. They all were. So, you know, they have these little yellow tags. So this one here I picked. Uh, which is called Most Wanted Eyeshadow Palette. And I was looking, it's uh, Hours of Gorgeous Wear, uh, Great Pigment, uh, Creamy Powder Formula. It has um, colors in it that normally, if I itch my nose, I gotta tell you, I, I try not to, but one of the symptoms that I had with coronavirus was an itchy nose. I thought I was gonna pull my nose off my face. And the only symptom that I have left from that is this itchy nose. And I just, I try to sit here and not scratch it. So if you see me going like this, that means I'm at my wit's end and I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I mean like editing all out, edit them all out and keep splicing them together and sometimes that doesn't look good. Anyway, uh, I bought this one. Now it has <clears throat> a really light one. And I think that I'll take this light one and just put it all over uh, my eye and my brow area below. Just like that. And I wasn't too sure of colors. There was no, I had no brown to pick from on these, at least at Walmart when I got it. And I wasn't gonna go store to store looking for it. I, Everyone they had had no 
brown in it, but I'm sure they make it somewhere. So I bought this one and it kind of has gold, green, which I'm gonna try the green one day on here. Um, blue and like a cranberry color and then a pearlized, uh, it's almost white. Uh, and so I do like the cranberry stuff. So let's do, I think I'll, I'm gonna start out with the uh, navy blue. It's kind of a blue. So we're gonna just go in to the corner. Now I do, I do the corners of my lids in here because I have like a little fat pad that hangs over. And if I don't color that and I leave that white, it looks, it just kind of hangs there. So I like to camouflage that, me personally, especially with glasses, uh, with dark. So I'm gonna do just the crease a little bit with the navy, navy blue. I still have my green mirror, girls. All right, let's do a little bit of this. And, and you know, really, this is not a tutorial on eyeshadow. I, I gotta tell you, my eyeshadow goes on in like, I think I timed it one day, like three minutes. I do not fuss, I do not blend, I do not transition colors. I put my brown on and my purely platinum, usually in buxom, and, and I'm out of there. I don't, I don't taper, I don't do lots of things with my eyeshadow that some of you beautiful girls do with your tutorials. I should, but I just don't take the time. Uh, but I do, I do use a couple of colors when I'm using new ones like this. So we'll just do the base in this uh, navy, kind of navy blue. This is also not a matte, and I'm not a lover of um, sparkly eyes at, as you mature. I think it draws attention to your um, wrinkles, creases, little bumps that we get on our eyes um, from uh, you know just being matured. Uh, I mean, we have lots of things going on with our eyes when we're matured, and I think that the um, I think it just accentuates those flaws and the matte seems to not accentuate them so much. So I'm not a lover of um, sparkles or glows. I don't glow my face either, but that's just me. Some of you look beautiful with the glow. I don't glow. I glow on the inside. I don't glow on the outside. <laughs> so, so we're gonna take a little bit of the blue and we're going to, I'm gonna put it uh, underneath the eye a little bit, underneath the eyelash. Just ever so, ever so lightly. And that I always do. I always do, usually my brown, my brown under the eyelash and then bring it up in the corner. And then you have to go in and take off what you put on your nose because it's stuck on my nose. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right back. I don't need any attention to my nose. You know, I always say that for all the cosmetic surgeries that's out there, I should have had my nose fixed. My nose was broken probably 50 years ago and uh, I, they, they pushed it back into place and I never went and had it fixed. I mean, I had a couple of opportunities and I went, eh, I don't care. And I always think, and I'm very conscious of um, this nose because this side of my nose was somewhere over on this side of my face. Uh, and I went, ran to emergency room and of course it was late at night and you know, they put it back in place, put a cast on, put all this gauze up. I went back like five days later and I had it taken out but I never had it fixed and I really, should have, but I didn't. So it's it's my signature look. <laughs> anyway, so then I'm going to go in. I think I'm going to so, I'm going to soften this up a little bit and go in with um, the cranberry. I do like the I do like the cranberry look. I did that for Christmas uh, uh, with uh, Beauty on a Budget Bella. Me and her did a collab at Christmas time with our eyes, and uh, I really did like 
uh, the cranberry. I did it for Christmas and uh, I have done it since. So I'm just going to go in and, um, and just put a little bit of the cranberry over the blue. Of course, it looks like a, probably a black and blue mark, but that's okay. <gasps> oh, it doesn't really. So we're going to do that just because the blue is kind of a little harsh, maybe. So you can see it's transforming a little bit into a uh, sexy eye, smoky eye. I don't know what you call it. Like I said, this isn't a tutorial. And I'll take a little cranberry and just run it here, just a little, a little smidge like that. So I do, it's really pretty. I like the colors. Um, yeah, I like the colors and, oh, hello. <sighs> anyway, so I'm gonna try. Now, you know, I'll know that I love my Buxom, my Purely Platinum. I don't have anything close to that in here. <laughs> in, in here. Uh, so we're gonna try this gold. Uh, years ago, one of the makeup artists that came to our salon said everybody should have gold on their uh, eyelids or somewhere around their face because it pops your eyes and I did use gold for a long time but I haven't for a while but since I only have this gold and there is this white one here that I probably could put on my eyelids but what I'm going to do is wet my brush and um, sometimes wetting your brush you get a little deeper pigment you get you know the color is much more pops and you don't get the fallout of it. So I'm going to wet my brush with the gold and see if I can get it to be a little darker or a little brighter, I should say, because uh, I'm used to that one that I use. And I do like my lids um, light. Gives a nice bright uh, pop to your eyes, makes you look wide awake and not so sleepy. So, that's not too shabby. I mean, it isn't my purely platinum, but it's pretty good. I do like the gold. And it's funny because I'm olive, so you wouldn't think that the gold would look good on me. But it really, it really does. So wetting your brush keeps it from falling and gives you a deeper color. I'm gonna bring it up here so that your whole eye looks open and bright and cheery. I'll run a little bit under here just to see if that makeup guy was right. So that's not too bad. I can't see. Well, I, I have that mirror, but let's take a look. Okay, so that's not too bad. I find that they didn't have any Milan, almost said it again, excuse me, Melania, Milani. Uh, eyeliner that I could find, but I do love still my Alme eyeliner. I do love this one uh, a lot. So we're going to just uh, line. What I do is just, I do this so quickly. Uh, we're going to do the, just the lash line to make my lashes look thicker. And a little bit on the bottom just to have a base. So that's all. So it made my top a little thicker. My lashes look a little thicker. And uh, that's, that's the game plan. So that's that. Easy peasy, right? Didn't do too much. Took me longer because I'm And the other one I bought from Blush, and you know I'm the Blush Queen. And it's not too bad. I like my one by CoverGirl, which is Plum something, uh, which I think is discontinued. Um, but I have a couple extras, thank you, Anna, uh, that I have stashed, so I'm grateful for that. So we're gonna try this. It's kind of pink rose, but it's, it looks a little peachy to me, but let's give it a try. I do like, 
I'm a blush girl. So we're gonna put this on, and I like it on my nose. And I just go all over. And I also like it on my neck. I like the glow of the, if the sun hits your face. I like the way the pink reflects up into your face. I'm all done using the concealers on your cheek. I mean, God gave me this face. I can't conceal it. And I'm tired of going out and having this brown line here and my husband going at the end of the day. You got the dirty smudge on both of your cheeks. What did you touch? Did you Were you in the dirt? <sighs> of course, he says that to me at the end of the day. He didn't tell me that all day that I had this dark brown smudge here. So I was I'll like, show you what a dirty mark is. Come here. <laughs> so I stopped doing the concealer um, on my cheeks. I do do sometimes a little bit on my nose because it kind of helps this. But I notice when I put my glasses on, if I do that, it looks like I have a bruise on my nose, so I gave that up too. So this is the the blush, and it's kind of a pretty color. Um, when I put the powder on, it will, it will tone down. So that's the blush, and this is called Pink Rose, and I do, do like this color. I think it's really soft, it's pretty for the summer. Really do like it. And then I bought the powder, and it's the um, it's translucent. I thought it looked a little orange to me, a little yellowy to me also, but it doesn't when it's on, and uh, I do love that. So I will put that on, and I just take a little bit like this, put it in the cap, and put it on. put it under my eyes. I noticed that this concealer takes powder under the eyes well. It doesn't cake, which, you know, is it's kind of a good thing. Because sometimes I was on the fence about powders and under the eye and concealers when you're matured. Because our eyes dry up a lot and powder is drying to me. So depending on the concealer that you use, if you put powder on top of them, after a couple of hours, you see all those creases under your eyes. So especially with glasses, oh my goodness. So I'm on the fence with the powder, but I do, I do trickle it over there a little bit. So the Milan, the Milani powder, <laughs> is really well. I almost said Melania again. <laughs> I'm giving her a plug today. So the last but not least thing that I do, I think, I think that's all I got, is um, the mascara. And I did buy their mascara. Uh, I'm a big L'Oreal fan of mascara with the um, Christmas tree end. I love that one. I don't have it with me to give you the name, but I do love it. I got that from Glitzy Fritzy last year, and I have never used anything else. I try stuff in between that's good. I've tried Believe and all that, but I'm, I'm going with the whole Milani collection today, so I did buy this one here, which is called... Um, Milani Dangerous Length. Ooh, dangerous. I'm going to be dangerous. So, so let's put that on. Uh, uh, first thing I'm going to do, and I won't sit here and watch you do this in pain, and I know, I think Moni on here, Monica McGillicuddy, she, I think it's her that hates lash curlers, but I curl my lashes to get them up because they're kind, they're long. Uh, I mean, they're not like fake ones, but my lashes are fairly long and if I don't curl them they when I blink they stick on my glasses so I curl them primarily uh, for that so let me curl them and I will put my mascara on and then I'll show you how that all looks hold on all right, I'm just gonna bounce on real quick and show you one eye is done and the other one is not see what a difference it is I mean you can't really to me to me you can't get a full idea of what your new makeup or any makeup is until every last piece is in place. I mean, you can't look at this and go, oh, you know, I just something doesn't look right. You gotta wait till it's all in place. So you can see the coverage on that is pretty good. It is a little more watery than most that I use, uh, but the um, but it is good coverage and there is no. Uh, clumping and I think it's uh, really pretty so I'll go on to the other eye and then we'll be back for lipstick and we'll be done yes hold on okay they're both done it does take a little longer I think it's a little runnier uh, mascara than what I'm used to 
Um, L'Oreal goes on really fast, uh, but it's really nice. If you take your time and put it on, uh, there are no clumps, uh, which is nice, because I can never see until I put my glasses on, and then sometimes I put my glasses on and it looks like one big lash, because it's all, they're all stuck together. But this is really good. It does not stick together. I think it's uh, very, um, well, I do see, I do see a little clump, but that's okay. I can take that out. Um, but I do, I do think it's really, really good. So I'm pretty pleased with um, the whole feel. It feels really good, and I know I wore it before, and it did stay on all day. Uh, and I don't remember if I used primer on my face or not. Um, like I say, I do if I think of it, but uh, it's not a step, and I don't use the spray. Either it's just a step that I never have done. Um, some people swear by it, I guess, but I don't have a problem with my makeup coming off during the day. I never touch my makeup. If I do, I put a little bit of extra concealer under my eye, but when I wore this, I didn't even have to do that. Anyway, so the last step is number 74. It's called Matte Darling, and it's Milani, and it is the lipstick. And I do like a matte uh, lipstick, so let's try this and I notice when you're older too try not to get up into this line because even on some of my videos I've noticed that this it clumps in the corners you know you got those lines here on the corners of our mouth and we can't help it it's you know it's it's the aging process it is what it is and I won't get my lips plumped for nothing uh, or my cheeks but anyway well nothing really but Botox, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> so let's try it anyway. And uh, I always try. I always try on the little hearts of your lip to hit them up. Well, not like that one because that's smeared all over the place. But hit them up so you get a nice kind of a heart there. So it's a good feel. There's really no smell to it. It's a really, it's a really pretty feel. I think uh, what I would do with this, even though I like a matte, I do have a little bit of this. Um, uh, this is from the Dollar Tree. This is LA Duo. Uh, I have a little bit of the uh, glitter. I'll just put. Probably isn't even that noticeable. Well, that isn't noticeable because it didn't even come out. <laughs> Wrong side. In the center. Just a little tiny bit. Not even sure it makes a big difference. But, so this is the look. Uh, it's pretty good. And like I say, girls, this is just makeup. You have to take care of the canvas of your skin. No matter what you use on your face, massage it in and use it consistently because your moisturizer is your base. Nothing's going to stick to your face without moisturizer. And you could go without makeup if you so choose. I've actually gone without makeup, surprisingly, uh, because my canvas is so good. And I happen to, some some reason, this Ella Frida and my pH balance, my skin combination, my skin has never ever looked better. I mean, I can. I mean, I've never gone outside with no foundation on in that, but I can actually um, get away with it. And my wrinkles in my neck, you know, if you saw my video on all about the neck, I really take care of them. So let me go put my bangs down, finish up, and I'll be right back. Thanks for watching, Milani, not Melania. I'll be back in a minute. So, how'd you like that? So that was pretty good. I think the makeup itself is pretty decent. Uh, it's a very, um, it's not a heavy coverage for me. I like, um, I mean, it's okay. I, I like it. I would still, I'd probably buy it again. It's not like it, I, when I first put it on, as you know, 
It, it seemed a, like an off color, but as it blends into your skin, I really like it. Um, I, I'm used to wearing something that's a little heavier coverage than this, I, but I do like all the products. I'm very, very happy with the products. And of course, you know I'm happy with my, uh, with my skincare. I, uh, I love my Ella Frida. So anyway, I'm so glad that you came today. Even though you know Get Ready With Me's are, yeah, they're a little, uh, they're a little tough for me because I'm so blind and I can't see to do anything on here and uh, you know we all look so different with and without makeup but you know that's fine I mean I uh, like I say when I worked in the the beauty shop I uh, I did some women that just you would not even think that they could look good and I made them beautiful it's just like but they were they had this beautiful personality that they just exude this personality and they just didn't know how to fix themselves and so you know um, that was my job. <laughs> so I love playing with makeup. I always have since I've been a kid and ma mainly I, uh, I do my canvas and that's the most important thing is the canvas. And so thank you for coming to my Get Ready With Me. So I, hope, I hope everything was fine. I hope you like the finished look. I, um, I do like the uh, eyeshadow, the gold. I think this, it's the, uh, I'm used to brown. So, um, this look is a little different for me, but I do like it. So thank you so much for coming to my living room today. I hope you're all safe. So I hope all of you are being cautious and safe and just stay home and fix yourself up. I mean, I ain't got no place to go today, but hey, I'm fixed up. In case somebody knocks at the door, I'm ready. So thanks for coming. Thanks for um, subscribing to my channel. Uh, without you, I wouldn't grow, and I, I just, I love growing because I just, not because of the numbers or anything, I just, I want to touch as many people as I can in a positive way, and um, I just, I just love you all, and uh, I, I don't think that you all know that I, we couldn't have survived without any of you and your love and your prayer, so I'll see you the next time. Love you, and I'll talk to you soon, and oh, by the way, the little um, rainbow, sub please subscribe that I'm gonna show at the end of my videos. Uh, my granddaughter Bella made that for me for my video. So I hope you like the little rainbow and please subscribe. So thank you, I'll see you soon, bye.